back my dear students. In this lesson we are going to learn how to factor special products if it is a perfect square trinomial. Let's remember together what is a perfect square trinomial. It is of the form a plus b power 2 or a minus b power 2 is equal to a squared or the first term squared plus the second term squared and in the middle it will be 2 times the first term times the second term. Also for the minus we have the same the first term squared plus the second term squared and in the middle we have the negative 2 times first term times the second term. Now if you are given an example like this determine whether this trinomial is a perfect square trinomial and if so factor it. How do I know if this is a perfect square trinomial or not? So for a trinomial to be factorable as a perfect square the following must be true. These three conditions must be satisfied that the first term is a perfect square and the last term is a perfect square and the middle term is equal to 2 times the square root of the first term times the square root of last term. Let us see. Now let us see if this applies or these three conditions applies here in this example or not. 4j squared is this a perfect square? Yes, 4j squared is a perfect square of the square root of it is 2j. So I will take the square root of 4j squared is equal to 2j. So this condition is satisfied. For the last term which is 16 we also know that square root 16 is a perfect square root which is 4 and this second condition is also satisfied. The third condition is that the second term aj is it equal to 2 times the first term which I got here 2j times the last term which is or the second term which is 4 2 times 2 times 4 is not equal to aj. So this is equal to 16j, which is not equal to 8j. So this means that the last condition is not satisfied. And this means that this trinomial is not a perfect square trinomial, but we can still factor it by the last method in the last video we showed you. Another example. Determine whether this trinomial is a perfect square trinomial, and if so, factor it. Again, we have three conditions to satisfy. If it is, or if they are all satisfied, then this is a perfect square trinomial. The first condition is that if 36 h squared, is it a perfect square or not? So I'm going to take its square root. And if it is a perfect square, yes, it is perfect square. So it is satisfied, the first condition. The second condition is about the one. Is one square root of one, is it a perfect square or not? Yes, it is course square root 1 is also 1 so it is also satisfied. The last condition which is about the middle term here is 12h equal to 2 times the first term which is 6h I got on the first step and times 1 which is the second term yes or no. We know that 2 times 6 times 1 is also 12h and this is correct so this the three conditions here are satisfied. This means that this is a perfect square trinomial. So how can I how can I factor it? I will factor it into one bracket because it's a perfect square trinomial. I will take the first term which is 6h. So I will take the square root of the first term, 36h squared. I will write it as the first term here. And the second term 1 is its square root is 1. And in the middle, I will put the same sign. If it is negative, I will put minus. And if it was positive, I will put plus. So, and here I will put a power 2 on this bracket. And this is the factored form of this perfect square trinomial. I hope you understand. Please subscribe and like and see you next video. Bye-bye.